So today is Monday afternoon. Uh, I flew in here Friday morning to uh, sunny, beautiful Orlando, Florida to help Sean get the chassis and engine wired on his 240Z Time Attack Pikes Peak car. And uh, anyways, we're wrapping this up. I'm gonna fly out tonight and go home. But uh, anyways, we're gonna look around just a little bit. Put the connectors back together. Oh yeah. Shred town. So this harness was already done. Um, he had a local shop go through the harness. Hold on, come back. Done. It was done, done. quote unquote done. Yeah. Somebody went through at least the engine side of this thing and put all the, uh, the big, you know, bulkhead connectors on it. They ran the motor, so we know that that all that's good. But when it came time to sort out, you know, all the connections inside for the, you know, ignition switch, 12 volts, and PCM memory, like all that was haggard. So, anyways, that's what we're dealing with today. The last three days, we wired the dash, we wired the chassis, the back of the car is all done. Um, front of the car? Yeah, the front of the car is done too. We wired for headlights. He's got some pretty trick stuff, like these are uh, brake duct fans, so it can force air through the brake cooling ducts, like when you come in the pits. Electric fan. Yeah, and we put we put some connectors in just so that you could pull the front sub harness if you ever needed to. Um, everything's everything's labeled, you know, so if this thing comes apart, somebody can just really quickly look at it and throw it back together. Which will be, uh, be uh, hopefully we'll need to, but it'll be convenient. Pike's Peak, you know, you can't really, you don't really have time to mess with stuff. Three o'clock in the morning, yeah. on top of the mountain. Yeah, so. yeah. All this work will definitely pay off. Yeah. So Sean made the aluminum mount under the wiper cowl to mount the race pack smart wire, the PCM, the ground distribution block, all that stuff. It's not as pretty as what it was, but, uh, but we're getting through it. So this is the switch module for the race pack. This is what all this toggle switch is, ground switch. So these are all ground inputs from toggle switches or from the PCM to kick the, uh, to activate the, the fuel pump. And, uh, you know, she's got this cable, you know, that communicates with the switch module to uh, output power, so whatever circuits we want. But down here's all the, all the charging system, and this stuff ended up pretty tidy. So he's got a lithium anti-gravity battery. We put a system breaker in. Um, this is a battery kill, you know, isol battery isolator pretty much. So it can, you've got two buttons and when you activate the button on the outside of the car or the one on the dash, it kicks that and disconnects the ground side of the battery. And we've got it to where it disconnects this small circuit and it applies ground through a remote relay to the shutdown circuit of the race pack. So anyways, if you ever hit the master kill, it disconnects the battery and it sends a ground to the race pack and shuts down the race pack. <clears throat> so I'll do a little walk around. <clears throat> so a lot of you probably haven't seen this that follow me, um, but it's a full handmade carbon fiber wide body. Um, lots of chassis and roll cage work. Uh, I mean, it's a dedicated race car. This is the carbon dash. When I came in here Friday, this was the first thing we wired. So it's got autometer gauges and it's got um, toggles. And then, you know, we made this to where uh, this dash is a sub assembly and all of its uh, stuff can just unplug and you can pull that dash real quick. But it ended up pretty neat. So the only thing that's left today is to finish connecting the engine harness and wiring the other side of the connectors for the dash and put the dash in and hopefully we can, at least before I have to leave town, start it and run it. Make sure all the circuits are working right. 
best case scenario is we get to drive it down the road. I'm into that. So what's the motor setup? The motor was an aluminum 5.3. Yeah, we'll it's a 58 up. tooth motor, Brian Thule stage three cam. Port and polish, hand port and polish head. Yeah. All, you know, all new valve seals, you know, everything's gone through, except for the rotating assembly. Everything's pretty much brand new. Uh, Intake headers. And uh, if you want to say this is an exhaust, it's got an exhaust. <laughs> Yeah, T56, it's a F-body T56. It's all been gone through with Magnum parts. Carbon fiber drive shaft. It's got a fire extinguisher system in it. I mean, it's got all the race car goodies. These are definitely worth showing. These are some seven pound carbon fiber doors. And that's everything together, left shell, skins, hinges, whatever. <laughs> 